we've seen a Markovnikov type hydration of an alkyne to make ketone. Now let's see the anti-Markovnikov version of that reaction, which is going to make an aldehyde. But first, I want to talk about the anti-Markovnikov reaction we've seen before, which is hydration of an alkene. So take an alkene, treat it with borane, and then sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide, and water. What we get is the anti-Markovnikov alcohol. So the OH group adds to the less highly substituted side of the alkene. This does not involve a carbocation intermediate. Um, in instead, it's driven by sterics. So this end of the alkene is less hindered, and therefore that's where the OH is introduced, and it's introduced at, uh, initially as the boron atom. Okay, so this is the anti-Markovnikov product. Fantastic. How does this translate to alkynes? So let's take an alkyne, an alkyne that has different things on the ends. Okay, one end is substituted, one end is not substituted. And we're going to treat this with um, this kind of oddball borane reagent. Super duper hindered. It's called disiamyl borane. Really hindered. That's the first step. And the second step looks just like what we saw above. Sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide, and water. And what happens is we get addition of water to our alkyne. And now we're going to form an alkene. And we get this structure. But we're not done, because if you recognize this, this is an enol tautomer. Enol tautomers are not stable. And so what happens is, as soon as we form this at the end of the second step, this immediately isomerizes and forms this aldehyde. So what have we done? We, we've added water to this. We've added two hydrogens, those two hydrogens and an oxygen. So we've done an addition of water. And where did that oxygen go? That oxygen went to the less highly substituted uh, side of the alkyne over here. Um, and why did it go there? It was because this borane reagent is very sterically hindered, so the boron attached to the, more, to the less highly substituted carbon. And therefore, that's where the oxygen is, and we get an aldehyde. So this again, this is an anti-Markovnikov type process. Um, it's driven by steric hindrance and it's an example of getting a regioselective reaction addition to an alkyne.